Hello, my name is James McLaughlin, editor of Cardesign News, and I'm here at the Geneva Motor Show with Andy Shaw, who's director of Vital, who run the design, development, and prototyping processes for OEMs. Is that correct, Andy, yeah, or have I completely right. uh, mislabeled you there? That's right. We, <laughs> we help run the design programs, try and help them run more efficiently. And how are, you, um, how are new digital tools helping sort of develop products at a physical level? So with the advances in technology, we're now able to create our own software in-house for things like ergonomic testing. So we've created our own suite of tools called Capture. Mm -hmm. So we can do real-time ergonomic assessment and validation so that we can help our um, designer um, customers iterate faster and mm -hmm. get more, more design time. Yeah, and speed is everything these days. Um, also, uh, use edit additive manufacturing. I mean, tell us a little bit about how that plays into your process. So we invested quite heavily in additive manufacturing. We've now got around 55 machines. So mm -hmm. we use our in-house processes to help build very, very quickly overnight so we can make modular design models and books. Mm -hmm. And we use quite a lot of cornstarch, so we are biodegradable as well. Um, are you hearing a lot, a, a lot from your customers about this idea of biodegradable? It's a kind of interesting cornstarch, as we know, is famous for being in Coca-Cola in the United States. Yeah. Or things like that. Tell us a little bit more about, about that side of things. It's a compostable grade of material that we're using. Um, obviously, there's a, a lot of pressure to decarbonize, and this is now affecting the design process itself. So subtractive manufacturing, cutting things from polyurethane and from foam, obviously, is very bad for the environment. Um, and if we can make uh, prototypes which are destined for a short life to be made out of biodegradable materials, it means that we can, um, we can do our little bit. And are there any examples of this, uh, this, this confluence, I guess, from uh, design, digital design, physical design, that you're seeing from, from consumers that's, that's affecting the design process? Yeah, we want to help our customers use prototyping as part of the design process rather than seeing it as a result of the design process. Mm. The benefit is that if we can iterate models quicker um, and we can help input into the design programs, it enables the designers to make um, more effective decisions. This isn't just uh, in the world of physical, it helps with digital as well. So if we make a HMI system and we make the HMI very authentic and it runs on seamless hardware, then it means that the interactions are more authentic. So when we evaluate it with the end users, the feedback that we get is going to be more valuable. Well, Andy, thanks very much for spending some time today. It's great to talk to you. Thank you.